Hello, I'm Father Sampathik from City Virus. Uh, today we're going to work on some experimental workflow, um, PBR texture workflow um, in, within Blender. And we're going to compare it with um, Unreal Engine. So um, this is an experimental workflow, so um, there could be some glitches, but it works uh, in many cases and many scenarios. So uh, if you um, have any feedback, uh, please let me know about it. And uh, uh, we're going to um, start working with Blender 2.77 uh, PBR branch here uh, from Clement Focult. Uh, download it because we are going to need it. And also we are going to have some dot .not um, uh, PBR color chart for Unreal Engine. We will need it too. And uh, this could be a long tutorial, uh, but I will try to make it short. So let's get it started. And I'm coming back. All right, so we're back in Blender 2.77 on um, you know, the PBR, PBR viewport branch. So I have already loaded our coin sculpture. We're going to make some textures around it, uh, metallic texture, metallic workflow and we will use some grunge textures and uh, some oxides so let's see so this is our sculpted really high detailed model and um, this is my low model so i'm going to uh, first of all i'm going to make normal out of it so let's uh, go to that layer so we are going to select our low model here Let's go to shrink wrap and uh, let's target, select the sculpt. And that is my sculpt one. There we go. Okay, and we are going to select the, uh, we're going to uh, prepare our setups here. So let's see. Uh, TN, and let's go to the UV image editor. Let's create a new image. I'm going to name it normal. And it will be uh, 2k no alpha okay so here we go uh, we already have UV out our low poly model here so you have to let's go to image and let's save as image and it will be our normal okay so let's save it save as image Let's name it normal, normal on normal. There you go. This image and save this image again. Yeah. All right. So this is our normal PNG. Mm, now let's uh, talk about other things. Uh, let's go to the node editor. And we have our diffuse maps available here. So I'm just going to create a new image texture. I will go. I will try to go fast. Uh, because it's a really huge tutorial so I have to cover it here we go and um, everything is fine here now so now let's go to our sculpt select our sculpt one then uh, select the low one select this normal and let's go here we're going to back the normal select it to active and um, clears margin with system px and uh, ray distance one thank you let's back it all right, so the bake is done, and uh, let's get started with the job here. So I'm going to image and save image. All this is our um, shortcut. So uh, let's go to now. Let's go here, modify. I'm just going to apply the shrink wrap here, and uh, let's select the coin high again, and sorry, no coin sculpt, and let's go to merge and shift. So now we have our uh, model. So to see it, we need uh, Shift A and uh, normal map. There we go. Color and uh, plug in it with uh, normal. So to see it, we need to go to let's see material. And uh, now let's go. We cannot see anything because uh, we need to go to in material mode and let's use a point light. And there we go. So this is our um, normal. You can 
see it from here all right so we need to um, um, uh, load some HDR map here so um, I'm just um, loading those uh, one by one uh, really fast so there we go and now let's go to the world background and uh, let's use probe auto refresh compute diffuse enable after the probe um, and let's um, go to the reflection um, quality we are going to use 248 on the diffuse should be 64 buffer here in the viewport um, what we actually need is basically go to the N and uh, let's go to the material section let's go to the shading and uh, this is our material preview I'm going to on it and the quality should be 64 bias 0.5 is good minus 0.5 all right so everything is working all right so now let's go to um, our world output here and um, we're going to add some texture on it so I'm going for an environment where it is yeah background there in the color section I'm going for environment texture and I'm going to open up one of our HDRI let's use the I select TM well, I think it didn't get it um, let's use HDR and that okay so um, we're taking it here and for the simplicity sake uh, you should always use um, and the atom that is called the no wrangler enable it we will need it so press ctrl t to have your mappings that is all right so in here we are going for something like um, world background so now we are having um, our you know hdr lights here and there so you can change it with your eyes like so this is now activated okay press n to turn it off and uh, yeah so you can rotate it of course you should know these things so I'm just I'm not going to elaborate it so uh, if you want to check it and uh, check your uh, HDR uh, lighting setup just go around this light and it will be done all right 